If you're a fan of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, then stick around, because you're about to discover eight behind-the-scenes facts about one of Disney's most successful live-action movies ever made. The idea for the movie was created by the 1980s horror movie director Stuart Gordon, who wanted to make a kids movie because after he became a father, he wanted to create something his own kids could enjoy. So now you know why Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is filled with classic horror movie tropes, such as a mad scientist, an invention gone bad, and people being terrorized by giant creatures. Gordon pitched the idea to Disney, who loved it and gave him the green light to direct. As bad luck would have it though, Stuart Gordon got sick just before the production was about to begin, so Disney had no choice but to replace him, since they didn't have time to put everything on hold. So the studio brought in special effects wizard Joe Johnston in his first ever directorial role, which was a wise choice since he had previously worked on Raiders of the Lost Ark and all three Star Wars films. The Selinski's suburban California neighborhood and backyard may have looked real, but it was actually fake. All the houses with their picket fences and manicured lawns were built on a movie studio backlot in Mexico City, where many other famous movies were made like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and Free Willy. The set work is very convincing, but if you look carefully, in the opening scene you can see the backlot wall that was painted blue to stand in as the sky. The heroic ant Auntie took a lot of effort to bring to life. The special effects team built multiple versions of the insect including a miniature for stop-motion animation sequences. Most of the scenes when Auntie interacts with the actors involved a large robotic puppet, whose legs, eyes, head, and antennae were all controlled by up to 12 different crew members. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but Diane Selinski's hair color changes throughout the movie, between her natural brownish red to a light strawberry blonde. Two weeks into filming, Marcia Strassman received the note from Disney head Jeffrey Katzenberg to change her hair color because he thought it would look better on her. When Strassman expressed concerns over the fact that they'd already been shooting for two weeks, Katzenberg reassured her that no one would ever notice. And I'd say he was right. But let me know in the comments below if you ever noticed it before. The Bumblebee ride that Nick and Russ take was an impressive feat of movie magic imagery. Creating the sequence required a lot of parts, including a giant bee model for close-up shots, a camera that zipped around and dove through the backyard for point-of-view shots, and a small robotic bee with miniatures of the actors on top that cost $30,000 to make. And then the movements of the robotic bee were spliced together with the close-up shots, with some digital effects added later on in post-production. The production crew spent more than nine months constructing the required large-scale props, and one of the most unforgettable of these giant objects was the huge bowl of Cheerios. In reality, the Cheerios were actually large inner tubes painted and textured to resemble the cereal, and were placed in a large tank with 16,000 gallons of artificial milk made from chlorinated water, thickener, and food coloring. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids also included the world's largest oatmeal cream cookie, which was a combination of polyurethane foam and real cream filling that the young actors could actually eat. Disney took a huge risk by releasing Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on June 23, 1989, the same day as Tim Burton's Batman, which was the number one film of the summer and had fans lining up around the block to see it. However, releasing alongside a huge cultural juggernaut actually worked out to Disney's advantage, because since so many theater goers couldn't get in to see Batman, they chose to see Honey, I Shrunk the Kids instead, helping to boost it to become number two at the box office. Click a video on the screen for more facts about other movies on the channel to discover more fun facts about your favorite films.